You know, I guess we're called a family-owned business uh, that has a, 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 a plan for secession that is beyond our kids. I think that uh, this plan is to uh, feel like we are a high-functioning business that is family-owned and not a dysfunctional business that's crippled by a family that um, either doesn't want to be there or doesn't like it or is not capable of running it. And I think that we're in a pretty good place. Getting to know Aaron, Brian, and Colin um, has been just a privilege over the years. And, and getting to see all their just distinct qualities they have, um, seeing the passion and love and then just the massive talent they have too, um, just early on um, was exciting. Mom and Dad were really strong on trying to incorporate values into our lives. And um, they were really intentional about fairness and humility and generosity and just general you know, goodness. Aaron is a passionate person uh, in general. I think where it fits into DAA is that, yeah, he understands technology, he loves what he's doing, he sees very clearly where we should be going in terms of the tools that our people need uh, to really execute and compete. The reason he thinks he gets up in the morning is to support people, and that is, that's his passion. It's his passion inside of work, it's his passion outside of work, it's just who he is. All three of them have different leadership qualities, and um, but at the same time, they're all very connected with their love and passion for this business and how we're moving forward. So to see all three of them uh, bring unique skills and talents um, in is, it's remarkable how all that fits together. Growing up, I always thought that our family was like every other family would go to school and you know assume that everyone else's life was just like mine and I thought our life was really normal and the older I've you know got the more I realized how special our childhood was and our family is and my brothers are truly my best friends and I think a lot of people probably say that about their siblings but I don't know how many people really mean it. I think Brian his passion is really about um, I think progress and is pretty steadfast in what he wants to see as progress. And he is really um, not as concerned about necessarily how he shines or what he does. He is really, really uh, passionate about this company being successful. And I think that uh, that's his goal and that's his passion is that this place would be a place that people would come and they would say, I found my home and I'm glad I'm here and this place supports me. They truly are best friends and they truly love spending time with each other and with that they're so mature in their ability to have high-level conversations and knowing that type of relationship they ha have is so comforting because you know they know that they are gonna you know be solid and that uh, kind of symbol of unity that they have is uh, yeah it's it's definitely welcoming and uh, it's motivating. I think my parents are very intentional about a lot of things with us I think they would always really be mindful that um, I guess they wanted to share a lot with us about the business side and like what was going on so there was one night we had a big milestone in the business my dad sat us down and he wanted to celebrate with us and we're like, what's going on? We didn't really get it. And you know, it's like, we're so young, we don't even really get what this milestone was. But again, he's bringing us into it and celebrating with us. So really throughout my whole life, it felt like I had buy-in, I guess, and was really up to date and uh, had ownership. So there's a lot of lessons I think that were taught that I really appreciate. This Colin is, is really um, pretty aggressively driven. I think he likes the business of business. He has a, an ear to the ground all around here about how people are thinking, but he also has a, a really strong sense of uh, the customer and of what the, the business potential is. His passion is, is, is to grow. Colin is really um, very much about what is the potential of this place? And not just financially in selling cars, but what is the uh, potential of this place in terms of not just influence, but economic potential? 
They understand the legacy of the family business. They understand what makes us special, what our drivers are. They understand what family owned means, what being independent auction means. And their commitment and love and attention to that, to be want to be here for the next 30 years. And it is easy, easy to sit be beside them and say, let's go get this done. We have a whole secession plan that is well beyond Aaron and Brian and Colin. They are the core of it and they are a big part of it and I feel like they can lead it, but um, this is about you know, business continuity and I think that uh, this next generation is gonna do a really good job. They already are. I'm already obsolete. <laughs> going forward, the three of us are committed to this business, to this community of people, even beyond the businesses, the, all the things we're involved in. It'll continue to evolve, to grow, and um, and to change. You know, I think fundamentally, the bones they say of an, of an old house, you know, good bones. I think that's what's we've got here. That's what you've built. So my brothers and I are are here for it. All my friends, you know, they all bounce around a lot. I'm 33, and I know where I'm going to work the rest of my life. That's pretty rare. <laughs> so I like that.